guys, the laundry's here. That's exciting. My name is Karen and this is Chosen and Precious Farm and in today's video we are going to be installing the laundry and painting the kitchen finally. It's here guys. This thing is huge. Look at that, it's so big. Here's my hand for comparison. It's very big. And then the dryer. The thing is huge. Here's my hand for comparison. Like, I'm hitting my armpit getting in there. Nice. This is gonna go perfectly in this spot. I feel like it's gonna be A++ here. The time is now. The time has come for us to handle this situation. So, here's what we need to do. We need to take that off right there. We're not, so the walls were patched up here and I'll show you another spot where we uh, ended up taking the drywall off just to make sure that all of the um, connections to the water and all that stuff for the laundry were fine and not leaking or anything like that. They are great. We already put it all back together. But now we have to get it fixed, like paint the walls and all that. We need to put the floor in the laundry because we never did that. And then um, fit everything in. I'm thinking I want like a kitchen uh, cabinet here right with maybe a top on it and then some shelving up this way this laundry is going to go pretty much in the spot that it's in just further back and then I'm going to have this area here for storage and other things if I don't do it that way then I will do long storage this way that kind of looks like a pantry and then everything will just be So let's get going. By the way, I did connect the laundry. I tested it. It worked amazing. I connected it myself, so proud. But I basically just wanted to make sure that everything worked fine. The outlet worked fine, the water worked fine, everything worked fine, and it all did. So here's what I mean. We never finished the floor in that way. And then we need to patch this wall. Here's where we took this panel off to make sure, because it was all dark here, we didn't know if that was just like normal wear over time or if it was that it was leaking. Nothing in there is leaking and there's nothing back here. So I think we're fine in that department. So we got to patch that and remove the shelf and remove everything and start painting in here and then putting the floor down.
I change my sweatshirt to a shirt if I don't want to ruin it. I poured some paint out, so look at this. I'm not even sure if I should be painting this. I was going to be lazy and not paint it. But let's paint it since I still don't know exactly what I'm going to be doing in this space. I know for sure I want cabinets in the bottom. I just don't know if I want to do like the whole thing of top to bottom cabinet shelf or if I only want it here with the countertop. countertop would be. I know I'm hacking it, but this is my home. I can do whatever I want. And I'm tired. done with this for now, but I poured so much paint that I might as well paint the bathroom. So, let's go to the bathroom. So here we are. First coat of the bathroom. And first coat over here. has finally come to paint the kitchen cabinets. I started cleaning it. I started cleaning it and I realized I should probably let you know that I'm cleaning it and show you how disgusting this looks. I don't have vinegar, so I'm using alcohol to get all of like the grease and stuff out. And I've cleaned this section here, so I'm just gonna keep cleaning up it.
It's been a few days. More like it's been a week. But I've primed my cabinets, at least half of them, and I still need to prime that half. But I've got this and the bottom, so I've got these and some of the doors. Don't look at any of the mess. Oh, this mess. But the goal today is to prime the whole entire kitchen and paint. So, I like the white. I'm pretty sure you guys remember me saying that I wanted a white kitchen, that it was just gonna, everything was gonna be white, but I've changed my mind. I have decided, I saw an inspiration picture, and I'll put it right here, my inspiration, but I have decided we're going to paint our kitchen cabinets a light sage green. So I picked the color Softened Green by Sharon Williams, and um, we're going to have a green kitchen. Yay! Who else is excited? Woo! <laughs> so, let me get painting. So before I do anything, I am going to start cleaning because I can't deal with this mess. So I have alcohol here. I'm gonna clean everything, all the surfaces with alcohol, and then I'm gonna paint. Okay, so I like these doors. I'm not really a fan of the design on the mirror. I like the mirror idea. I'm just not a fan of the design. So I realized I could rub it off with a little bit of acetone. And then I was able to scratch off a piece here. So I decided, well, let's get blade and see if I can scrape it off. And it actually comes off really easily. So I'm just gonna scrape it off of all of these and have just the mirror. And it doesn't even scratch, look at that. No scratches or anything. Perfect. Okay, here's the color. Nice and sagey. From far away, it looks like a pastel green but when you get closer it looks sagey so that's the color so let's do it right so we are primed and ready to paint so here's the color That's exciting. That's very exciting, actually.
Okay, second coat is done. I am just waiting for these doors to dry. They have two coats on the top and then I need to flip them over and do the coats on the bottom. But second coat is done. I haven't done those yet, but that's a different story. Let me close the blinds. There we go. Green kitchen. These doors were a little damaged. I tried sanding them down, but hopefully you won't notice them too much. These are the bottoms, so hopefully you won't notice it too much when I put them back on. So I was going to get rid of this thing, I decided to keep it because I can put my spices on it. Um, I used to have something here that was so ugly, that is the main reason why I wanted to take it off, but I think I'm going to keep it because even these like normal sized jars I can put here. I wonder if I can fit one of these bigger ones. Oh, no, that one's too big. But yeah. The first cabinets are in. They look really good. So I'm still using the same hardware here because I think they look fine. I was going to keep these. And I mean, they do still look kind of good. But I'm going to go for a little bit more of a modern feel. So we are going to get new pulls. But, looking good, we still got all of those to go.
thank you so much for watching this video please like and subscribe hit the notification bell and comment down below god bless you bye